So um, you had a lot of tackles last year, started every game, made some freshman All-American teams. When you look back at the season you had last year, what, what did you see? What, what stood out to you? Where do you feel like you can you know, maybe take it to the next level? I feel like I made a lot of mistakes as a young player playing at this level early. I feel like I needed, I needed to develop a lot. I mean, I, obviously I made a couple plays, but I feel like I could, I could have helped my team more and more if I worked on my craft a little bit more before. What's the biggest difference this year uh, with this scheme as needs is still the defense coordinator, but this year versus last year you now as a sophomore? Um, the biggest difference, we got a couple couple more interior D linemen, bigger D linemen, as in PJ and Mikey. We got more depth as in linemen, and then we have more linebackers, everything like that, to work with. Us. What's the immediate difference you're seeing in having those bigger linemen? What's that? I'm sorry. What, what's the immediate difference that you're seeing from having those bigger linemen? Um, it's a it's a huge difference. Your gaps open up way. My gaps open up way wider. Everything more clear for what, well, me and me and my Colin and myself are in together. We see it way clear. Everything looks better. I mean, you mentioned Colin. I mean, having that tandem duo that you two bring. You know, what does that do for a defense? And have you had an experience like that in high school where you had that second guy in that in the middle with you? I've had an experience like that in high school, but he just wasn't as athletic and as. Aggressive as Colin, like Colin. I look at when I look at Colin, I look at another me. Like this is like we're almost the same exact person. So me and him going together it looks perfect. Yeah, how exciting is that to, to have? It's very exciting. I mean, that's that's my dude. I do everything with him. Like it's just our chemistry is getting better and better just by us walking together, eating together, uh, talking about football. Even when we're at the at the house together, it's just that's all we do. Do you guys have roommates? No, we're not roommates. So we just. We always end up together somehow, some way. Even <laughs> on the video game playing Fortnite, we're together talking, talking about football. It's just somehow, some way. So, so you mentioned making some mistakes last year, not feeling that you were as prepared as you could have been. Do you feel way more prepared going into the second season? I feel stronger mentally, physically. I feel faster, and I'm just way more developed as a player. I know the game more. So, like, especially now that I've seen every team we played against, and I have an idea of what they're going to do, what they're going to scheme for, and everything like that. I feel like the game's going to be a lot more easy. Do you feel, was there a certain point last year where maybe you weren't thinking as much and you were just kind of reacting? To it? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> it's just like, sometimes you get, when you get tired, you'll be playing up straight, straight reaction. You're not reading the keys as much. Okay. Your eyes get, your eyes fall in the backfield. That's, that was my problem. Like, and now I feel like I'm more focused in on my keys every play, even when I'm tired. And that's going to help me out a lot more. What do you players to have more so it's back as defensive coordinator? It's... It's great. Uh, Coach Boone taught us a lot. It's, my thing is, I feel like it's great to have so many different uh, skill sets. So with the skill set that Coach Boone taught us, I'm carrying that over to the stuff Coach Jay teaches us. And then now that it's Coach Jay's defense, it's just a lot. Everything's a lot more fluent. We know exactly what we have to do and everything like that because he touches on everything. He tells us when the corner messed up in film and everything like that. So we know everybody's responsibility on field now. So last year, everyone was talking about you as kind of this young player who stood out. Who's a, who's a young defender who's caught your eye so far? As of right you now, I give, him, I give him a problem all the time. See why? Christian Young. Yeah, he's been balling. And then I give uh, Dede Coleman. He, he's been balling a lot, too. And then, of course, my D-lineman, PJ. He's, new, he's not really new. He's old still, but he's a new guy, you know. So <laughs> that's my favorite, PJ, for sure. We haven't talked to him yet, but he seems to have a big personality like you. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, he's out there. He's, he's <laughs> That, he's very broad. That's the only way I can put it. He's very broad. Tony, every kid wishes that they can play as a freshman when they come in here, but not too many get to do it. When you look back at that season, was it what you thought it would be, I guess, when you came in and said, if I play, I want it to be like this, or was it even more than what you even expected? Um, before the season, I sat down with my high school coaches and, well, my coach David Hill, actually, and a couple players, and I told them I set goals for myself, like, I wanted to do this, I want to have 100 tackles in the season, I wanted to be a freshman All-American, and, like, it's just a blessing that it actually happened, like, I worked as hard as I could to make it happen, it actually happened. And with the goal settings, what goals have you set for yourself this year? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> How about for the defense as a whole? What do you, what do you guys hope to accomplish that maybe you didn't? Um, we want to get our uh, turnover ratio a lot higher, and we want we don't want nobody to score as many points. I want to average 13 points in the season. Mm -hmm. For the other team, 13. Yeah, 13 a game. Okay. Coach Chase said he was really emphasizing run defense. Yeah, run defense. That that was a problem of ours last year. We our gaps opened up. It, it comes with our front eight a lot. Like we're young, 
at, at the linebacker uh, position and, and me, Colin, and Kylan. And then we weren't really de deep in the, uh, the two D tackles and uh, D ends. So it was just now that we have depth, it would be a lot different. Anthony Pandy is kind of your, I don't know, understudy. He plays your position. What can you tell us about this game? That, that man is a monster. It's, it's, a, it's great to have him to uh, battle with every day just because I know it's me and him, we're, me and him are pushing each other. That's my roommate. So me and him, go to, we go home and still talk about it too. We push each other every day. So it's, it's great having Pandy with me. Hey, what, what makes him a monster? He's just, he's strong physically. He's smart. He's, he's fast. His, his, instinct, his instincts are great. Is there a feeling within the team that you guys have a front seven that can that can finally maybe do some damage in this conference? I feel like we all have more confidence in each other. Like now, now we all have a year. We all play with each other for a year, and then like even guys like PJ, he came in and he just felt like one of us. So like we all have the chemistry that we should have now. Not not to give anything away, but are there some times we can see you and Pandy on the field at the same time? I hope so. I know you guys had that one package last year. Yeah, that. exactly. That was we played. I think we used that package against Washington State a lot. I feel like I feel like having all of us on the field at once would be a great package, a great combo. So there was that story this summer about Khalil's role and getting Kevin Sumlin hired, and one of the takeaways from it was like the empowerment of student athletes. Do you feel like that's something that's a positive? If student athletes can have some sort of a role? In I feel like it is a positive just because as a student athlete, you want to know, like, as a, we, we came here to play with Rich Rod because we all, we all committed to Rich Rod's, uh, it, what he wanted, what his way of football was and everything like that. So when we had a new coach, we, we liked the fact that we had an idea, we had an idea on who's coming and we can think about and like, actually broadcast our opinion on Twitter on who we wanted. Tony, how aware are you with the context of uh, the story that SI came out with in June about Tyler Polinsky and, and the effect that the Arizona game had on him last year? Uh, that's a sad situation. Like, the first play I thought about was me and him on the goal line, and it, it was me and him came head to head. And it was like, I thought I was going to get thrown out the game, but it was just, it was a crazy hit, crazy situation. And then when I had I seen what happened, like, seen, heard about the autopsy and everything about him, it was just sad because I feel like, I was a part of that. Like I, I was very sad. Yeah, how do you compartmentalize that, knowing how you have to play to be successful on Saturdays? It's just like you gotta play football the way they want you to play now. Like you can't hit towards the head. You gotta use your shoulders more than anything. Hit more below the belt. Honestly, you don't want to hit. The more you hit high, the more chance you have of hurting your head, getting a head injury, long term or short term. It's just you gotta start hitting lower below the belt. When you first read that, I mean, what, what did you feel? How did you feel? I was just, I, I felt real bad. Like, it's just, it's a sad situation just to see that a guy that I played against, that I shook hands with and everything like that, ended up dead. Like, it's, it's pretty sad. Did, um, Tim Huff is on the roster. He hasn't started practicing yet, but do you know him from yeah, Desert Park? We went to high school together my freshman year. He was a senior. Okay. What, what do you think he's going to bring when he gets here? He's another me again. We, we, he's my big brother, so he brings a lot of energy to me. I bring a lot of energy to him, so it's just going to be a lot of more energy, a lot more technique and stuff going out on the defense when he comes.